Today I'm taking every song, video, file, and hard drive I've accumulated over the past 10 years and consolidating everything into a smarter, more sophisticated system for the future. Find me a stranger Breath take a whistle Ice to my cola I need to find me My name's Kara and I'm an independent artist and content creator and welcome to my home studio. I know what you're thinking. That's a ton of hard drives. And you're right, this collection is getting out of hand. So I hit up my friends at Synology and asked if they could help a girl get her storage straight. They asked me about my specific needs as a music and video business owner. So let's break it down. I've been writing and releasing songs since 2013. In my early years, I was mainly working with other producers at their studios, so I wasn't managing my own session files. I was able to store and back up my entire life on just one little hard drive. Fast forward to 2018, where I built my first home studio and started producing and recording my own music. This is where things start to get more complicated. Now I'm storing huge instrument libraries, sample libraries, sessions, and trying to keep everything backed up. Plus, now I need to make links and send files to clients, so I added a Dropbox subscription into the mix. Oh yay, another subscription. In 2020, I launched this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. This is where things start to escalate quickly, because now I'm storing both music and video files, which are at least 10 times larger than audio files, if you're lucky. Investing in a cinema camera really elevated the aesthetic of my tutorials, content, and music videos. But big image quality means big file sizes. In 2021, I launched my website, imcara.com, which features full-length, high-quality video courses, vocal sample packs, vocal templates for every popular DAW, and presets. At this point, I'm buying multiple hard drives every year, and I'm starting to look and feel like a digital hoarder. I've also done multiple music video shoots with big camera crews, locations, and extensive post-production editing using the highest-end cameras from Alexa, RED, Sony, Hasselblad, and Canon. I've since maintained a regular upload schedule of multiple posts per week across Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Point being, I have a lot of files to manage. So let's say goodbye to the past and hello to the future of file storage in my studio. This is the Synology Disk Station DS1821+. It's a high capacity NAS system, which stands for Network Attached Storage. That's basically a giant hard drive that connects to your home Wi-Fi network to store and share all of your files securely. Inside are eight 16 terabyte drives, which creates a total of 128 terabytes of storage space. That should last me a while. Unlike a regular hard drive, you can access your NAS wirelessly from multiple computers at the same time or even remotely. It also provides a helpful user interface to conveniently and effectively upload, manage, access, or send your files. But more on that later. But first, we have to assemble our NAS. The eight hard drives are packaged separately, and the installation process is a breeze with no tools required. Unwrap your hard drive, then remove a tray by pressing on the bottom. Remove the plastic locks from the left and right sides, then slide your hard drive into the tray with the label and ports pointing out. Snap the plastic locks back onto each side, flip it back over and slide the tray back into the empty space and secure it in place until it clicks. Then repeat these steps seven more times until you have a filled up disk station. I like the clean, industrial, robust look of this data server much better than my unorganized, messy pile of hard drives. On the front, you simply have a power button and all of your hard drive trays. And on the back, you have ports for power, ethernet, USB, PCI Express expansion slot for a 10 gigabit connection, eSATA, LAN, and more. Because this has fans to keep everything cool, I store it outside of my recording studio, connected to my Wi-Fi router. Hold the power button for a few seconds to power it on, and the rest of our steps are on the computer. Next, go to finds.synology.com in your web browser to locate and calibrate your device. Now that we're all set up, let's put this thing to work. 
I've actually been using it for the last few weeks since it's arrived to my home studio, so I've had some time to rethink how I organize my files and hash out a streamlined workflow. The fastest way to access your Synology is by adding a shortcut directly into Finder on your Mac. Open Finder and press Command comma to open your settings. Enable the checkbox at the bottom for connected servers, then enter the username and password you created to instantly access everything on your Synology right from Finder. This works for both uploading and downloading your files over your network. Now that we're all set up, let's record some music. Bum, 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 bum. I need to find me a stranger. Breath take a loose ice to my collar I need to find me, find me a stranger Find me a stranger Breath take a loose ice to my collar I need to find me, find me a stranger When I create a new session, I save it directly into my Synology using the network drive shortcuts in Finder I need to find me, find me a stranger this means my recordings go straight to the server instead of clogging up my computer. All of my virtual instruments, samples, and old projects are stored on the server. And when I finish a project, I collect all and save to ensure I can open it from any computer in my studio. Now, let's break down my video production workflow. Every project that I do is divided into subfolders that I name like this. The folders are either labeled after the camera the footage came from, or other categories like audio, renders, thumbnails, and screen flow. I always like to organize my assets before I edit. This way, it's easy for me to find exactly what I need at any time. Video editing is smooth and fast on Synology. Long projects like my studio sessions, where I'm cutting down hours of Sony footage, run seamlessly. Complex projects like this video, where I'm showing old footage and documenting changes over time, are easier than ever with all of my previous work saved in one centralized location, organized by month and year. Let's say I need to send an audio or video file to a brand or collaborator. The Synology Drive app makes it easy to create links and share files privately and securely or publicly for anybody to access. That means I could finally say goodbye to all of my file sharing subscriptions like Dropbox and WeTransfer. And finally, let's say I'm not in my studio at all and I'm visiting my family in New Jersey and all I have is my laptop. I can very easily visit finds.synology.com, log in with my username and password, and voila, I have access to upload, download, and create links from anywhere. If you're a professional or aspire to be a professional in music or video, it's smart to get ahead of the curve for your future storage needs instead of risking running out of space while you're being creative and productive. An organized and efficient workflow is the foundation for success, and having a Synology NAS has truly helped me bring my file storage to the next level. As for my old hard drives, well, those are gonna stay as backups like they should have been all along. Synology is the perfect middle ground for speed, storage size, and accessibility. And I wish I switched to a more scalable and customizable system like this a long time ago. So I hope this helped you get a new perspective on how to organize and store your files for your music or video business. Thank you so much to Synology for helping me upgrade my studio to a NAS. And I'll catch you next time in another video that I'll be storing on my Synology.